Well, hi there everyone, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster. Last time we were over here in the other tower. Because I was busying myself making a big mess of the painting and decorating. So what have I done since last time? Well, you can probably see through the windows that I abandoned that scheme. Let's go inside, and we've got something which looks like this. I hope you'll agree it looks a little bit nicer. It's obviously not completely done yet, I've still got paint everywhere. But I've gone with this sort of two-tone of blue scheme. It sort of matches the bed. Over here I've got some obsidian which is done up with the chisel. I'm not sure if I'll keep that or not, probably not. And over here I've got a nice little sofa. It's made up with the forge micro blocks. I've punched those windows back out as well. If you can remember from an age ago that I only blocked those up because I had machines in front of them. So I've got a nice view of loads and loads of jungle. It'll be pretty awesome if I ever want to do any bird watching out of here. Not that there's any birds in Minecraft. I've also put a few pictures up, done some things like that, and moved the lighting into those bits of wall. So yeah, that's not going too badly. I will bring you back in here as I get it done. I've also, you may notice, got rid of one of the linking books. Let us hop all the way back over to here with some big hops straight into a tree. Speaking of which, there goes another one. I am getting so much jungle wood that it is unbelievable. I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of it soon because I am getting too much. The linking book down to the mob trap is here. I've marked it with the zombie head, which was over there. Let's hop down. So yeah, this is all working exactly as it was. I have no, it's completely full, isn't it? Which is pretty bad. Uh, we do have a handy little one of these, so we can just empty it. And things are flying into it as well. Which were trapped in the pipes. Uh, whoa, lots of stuff coming in. Let's just get rid of all of this. Wow, I did not have a clue. We had so much rubbish in here. But most importantly, look here, another stack and a half of ender pearls. That is wonderful. Right, let's get out of here because... Oh, this still links to here, does it? That's fine. Because we have other and more interesting and exciting things to do today. So what is the plan for today? Well, we have had this for a while. This is a wall. This is a very boring wall. It could have had a nice window in, some nice decorations in, but I did not put any in. And the reason that I did not put any in was because I told you I was going to do something with it. And guess what? Now is the time to do something with it. So what I'm going to do is use another little block which comes from the Applied Energistics mod. It is somewhere in the middle here. It is the Storage Monitor. Click on this. Is that the one that I actually wanted? Crafting Terminal. Yes, that is the one that I actually wanted. I am going mad. Okay, as you can see, it is very easy to make. You just need glass. 4 iron ingots, a level emitter, and some ME cabling. Let us get that out of my hand because it is annoying me. Right. Uh, and I have lost it already. It is here, the storage monitor. Can we make any off the bat? We cannot because we need lots of level emitters. So how many of those can we make? We can make one. Okay, I had pre-planned this by making up a load of extra supplies. 
So I'm just going to have to cut out for a minute whilst I make some more. Okay then, we are back and we are ready to make these things. We are trying to make some level emitters, which we should now have some stuff to make them with. We can get four level emitters before we run out of redstone torches, but redstone torches are super easy to make. So now we can get up to seven when we run out of ME cabling. But fortunately ME cabling is very easy to make. We probably need a couple of stacks of that. ME level emitters are very easy to make. We've made 23 before we ran out of that stuff. That's fine, that will give us 23 storage monitors, which I think is plenty actually. So what else do we need? Well, if I'm going to put them along that the wall, I'm going to need to connect them up with ME cabling. Now there should be ME cabling somewhere under here, like that. So let us go through this way. Now I'm thinking I shall want them standing up slightly, so can I put them through here? That goes out into a big hole. But I can cover that up afterwards off camera, that's fine. Let's dig down a little and run a bit of cabling through. Hop, 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 hop. And one there, coming up there and up here. Uh, we will need to go up just one more, won't we? Just to there. The reason I'm going up like that is because I want to put a row of bricks across here to be the base of them. I don't want these expensive machines on the floor. We will just go up to there. So we are all plugged in. Let us pop one of these down. There we go. As you can see, let's pop a couple in. They currently show absolutely nothing. Now what these things do is they show you the level of something which is in your system. Let's go for something expensive which I want to keep an eye on. Let's get some diamonds out. And let's get a bit of gold out because I need to keep my eye on how much diamond and how much gold I have in my system, right? All that I have to do is right click on this with this and it will show me how much there is in my system. If I right click on here, I now know how much gold I've got in my system. That's pretty good. If I pop these bits, or some of them at least, back into here, you can see that the number of diamonds immediately went up. There were 580 gold. The second I put some more in, it should go straight up to 596 of the golds. That's not bad at all. Now, there is one slight problem with this. If I right-click on it with something else, like strawberry juice, it will just change to show me how much strawberry juice I've got, which isn't useful. Fortunately, there is a way around that. If you take your Crescent Hammer, hold down Shift and right-click, the storage monitor is now locked. So if I click on it with something else, it will do absolutely nothing. That's not bad, is it? So now I can see at a glance exactly how my stocks are doing, which is obviously really, really useful. It would also be really useful if I could get things in and out through those monitors, since they are up all the time without having to write something in this little box. Unfortunately, you can do that as well. With these things, these are conversion matrices, or matrices. We've used a few of them. We've got 27, which is pretty good, actually. If I do I click, if you hold down Shift then and click, it gives you this rather nice little box around it. Isn't that awesome? Now you can click on this, and it'll pick a 16, apparently. Now it's picked out 64, 264s. I already had 16 in my hands, didn't I? It'll pick a stack out. You can also click with them in your hands, or do you have to shift click? And it'll put that stack back into 
the system, so it's another way to get things into the system. I don't think you can shift click into a wrong one, you can shift click into any one. Okay, that's handy. So there we go, we can now see our gold and our diamonds. So we can now obviously just go along and make lists of all the ingots which we have, because obviously that would be quite useful to know how much iron there is in the system, how much lead, how much... Obviously these ones are rarer, your Electrum and your Ferrous. Copper is also very useful. Silver, of course. Um, and tin. So we can now just go along like this. Let's pop a low down. One, two, three, four, five, six, say. So we've got gold and diamonds, so probably the next thing that we want will be iron, will it? Some iron, tin, that's iron again. How about some lead? Uh, some copper, ferrous, electrum, and probably invar would be another one, but did we not have any in the system at all? We had five pieces. So there we go, we now just have to go and thwack them all with a crescent hammer. Bang, 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 and bang. You can see you can unlock them as well. And there we go, we now have a display showing everything that we've got. Now, what I could do, I could do this one of two ways. I could possibly have a row of bricks along the top here. I think that might look nice, actually. Let's go for that. Some bricks. Let's just sort these by number of items. That should bring them up. Stone bricks. And we also want to get rid of all of these things. Just like that. So get rid of all of these ingots. I'm thinking another row of bricks along the top here. Just like that. And I can put another row of other things up. That does mean I shall need to take this cable up a little bit higher. Because of course these things won't be directly connected. Anything which is directly connected doesn't need a wire behind it. 14 more. So we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A few more of those. So what could we put up there? Well, I'm thinking that probably the quartz stuff is really handy to keep an eye on. I want to know how much nether quartz, nether quartz dust, certus quartz and certus quartz dust I have, for example. Probably the Fluix would be handy as well. As you can see, I've made up a load of all of these sorts of things. Right, let's get these all down. So, Quartz, Quartz Dust, uh, Fluix, Fluix Dust, Nether, Nether Dust. Um, shall I run these? I've sort of run those right to the left in importance, haven't I? Uh, shall I do the same on the top? Let's go backwards. So, we can now see exactly all of these things. So you could do this for absolutely everything in your system. Obviously, I'm not going to do it for absolutely everything, just those that it's really handy to know what you have. Redstone is an obvious other one as would be glowstone if we still have any. We don't have any glowstone because we have a ton of illuminators. Um, did I secrete away a little bit of glowstone in case I ran out? It looks like I was not quite that intelligent. However, we still have. Uh, well, they shouldn't have gone in there, should they? Is there glowstone dust in here then? There is. Um, why on earth would essence seeds? 
I was growing some essence seeds, have I not? I have told them to go into there. Well, that is rather confusing, as is the fact that I cannot see them in my inventory. When I click on that, there they are. 8592, 8592, so those are the same. They just went up there for some reason. Fine. Um, I can't just pick a few of those out, can I? I can't pick any out now. Vasseva. Okay, let us go back up here. And make ourselves up a little bit of the old glowstone. Uh, glowstone is that one, I believe. It is. So I can now tell it to keep an eye also on... We'll put glowstone dust there. And redstone there. So that gives me a very good, I think, overview of everything I have got. Emeralds would be another good one to have somewhere. Now what I might also... Oh, of course, good old-fashioned Mimikite would be another very good one. Mimikite and Emeralds, both of which are really handy to keep tabs on. So, an ME storage bush on the end of here. I might well move some of these around later. And not there. Not there. But indeed, there. Uh, I wanted to put Mimikite in that one. Because, of course, the trick here is to combine Mimikite with Glowstone and get loads more Glowstone. Uh, yeah, that many should be fine. And if I take a few bits out and secrete them away, the entire system won't use them. Because, of course, if you remember, my system is pretty much set up to devour glowstone to make glowstone illuminate. As you can see, it's all immediately gone straight in there. Because I am not up to enough glowstone illuminators yet, I've forgotten how many I asked it for. How many was it? 64, so we're not far off actually. We only wanted a full stack. So there we go, that is what I am doing with this wall. I don't know how much higher than this it will actually go, because I don't know, that is terrible block placement. Anything else in the system which I really want to keep a check on, those sorts of things are the main ones I think. I shall run it up to nearly the edge. That will be the actual edge. Just like that. So now we have something of a wall. Put two more in. There we go. Of information of everything that's in the system. So I like that. I like that quite a lot. It makes it very easy to keep on top of everything. I'll just put all of these things in. And then click all these top ones over to be locked. Uh, they were locked. Did I already lock all of these? No, those ones aren't. That one was. So these ones aren't. And with that, guys, I think it is time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope that you enjoyed it. And I do very much hope that you enjoy me, enjoy me, join me, and enjoy me if you want to, again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.